Great moment. Look at that. Red. I'm here together with my friend, someone whom I admire tremendously. And I'm pleased that together with you, Bono, the idea came up 10 years ago to do something in Davos and to start something in Davos, which really never would have thought someone that it would have saved in the first 10 years so many lives by generating 325 million. I leave it to you, Bono, to, to uh, explain, but I have to say, follow his example. He is a role model for Davos and for what we want to achieve. For people who are not only looking at the big problems in the world, who are not only concerned about their own identity and what they are doing. I mean, everybody knows how what my admired musician you are, but who really engage to do something in order to make the world a better place. And that's what you are doing, Bono, and we are proud of you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Will I say two words? I'd like to remind people that uh, a lot of people thought you were mad <laughs> when, when, you know, you took people up the top of a mountain.
to give them a different view, maybe have them think about their companies, not just making profit, but making a real difference and solving the problems of the world, your stakeholder theory. And um, people laughed, I probably laughed. And, um, but you, 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 you did it. And people laughed at us, yeah, Bobby Shriver and myself, um, when we set up RED, we, you know, the idea of taking antiretroviral drugs to the furthest corners of the globe was, was, was mad. People thought we were mad, but we, we were mad. We were mad as hell that where you lived would decide whether you lived. And we didn't think that was about charity. We thought that was about justice. That's what motivated us. And so we got, you know, we got started. And I came to Davos. I, I was just telling Klaus, I was, you know, I was like, I'm not sure about this. It's like, I was defensive and I was saying, like, there's fat cats in the snow and trying to pretend that I wasn't one. And um, I thought this was, you know, a hot air in a cold climate. And then I saw the red balloon just rising and rising and rising. And I realized red was Klaus's proof of concept. And, and, and these companies were actually doing exactly what he always believed they could do. And, and I'm very grateful to you and to Hilda. And, and, and it's, we are, as you're saying, it's, it's, it's actually $350 million. Um, and, and, and there's been, that's incredible. And 60 billion lives affected. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and 65 companies, incredible companies. And our big idea, you know, our big idea, I think this is important to understand, it's not just the money. It's, it's not just cold cash. It's political heat. Because politicians know if, if you're not noticing, they know, they, it's their business what you're noticing or not noticing. And if you're not thinking about a problem, they're not thinking about a problem, and they don't have to solve a problem. So when we got into these incredible companies, we got into their marketing departments of Apple. When you have Apple stores turning all over the world, in Shanghai, all over the world, when you have the Apple App Store turning red for two weeks at Christmas, it's like 100 miles of billboards. When you have Bank of America, have 18,000 ATM machines talking about the first AIDS-free generation, like in Toledo, Ohio. I see Anne there, wow, and, 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 and Brian. But that is like having the whole of Times Square with neon, all the neon on Times Square. So you see the excitement of these big companies, these extraordinary companies. I remember Howard, uh, Howard Schultz, saying, you know, we're not just a coffee company. We, at Starbucks, we're sort of a media company. And I didn't really, I was like, yeah, how's that? And he said, well, think about the cups. He said, what we say on those cups, that we speak to a lot of people every day. You want to speak to them on World AIDS Day through a Starbucks coffee cup? I said, yeah. So that was really the idea of, of, um, of Red, and, and it worked. And, but it's, it wasn't, as I say, just the 350 million it was the 85 billion that has been spent now, taking 700 million people, sorry, 700,000 10 years ago, only 700,000 people had access to these drugs, to 15, billion, 15 million people now having access to these drugs. So you see, red creates a, a heat for the political conversation, and that's where we get access to government budgets. So thank you again. Thank you for being with us on a birthday party. That's, uh, it's rather special. And um, yeah, Nelson Mandela used to say, it always seems impossible until it's done. And um, it's not done yet. This is not a problem of the last decade. We're going to finish this problem in the next decade. And I would like to ask the champions um, some red champions that we have here at Davos who are going to fight with us from the next decade to come up on stage. If they, is that okay, Ross? No. Thank, thank you. Well. Thank you. Come up, please. Okay. 
That was a short speech, wasn't it? That's almost impossible for an Irish guy. Almost impossible.